Hi, my name is Vineet, and I'm going to show you how to use case structures in LabVIEW. If you're familiar with other programming environments, you might have already used statements like if then else statements or maybe switch statements, and they're used to selectively execute lines of code. Well, in LabVIEW, the way you do the same thing is with a graphical structure called a case structure, and we're going to take a look at how that works now. If you look at the computer here, I've already got an initial program written, and this program, when I hit run, will convert a value on the slider from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius and display that on the thermometer. Well, what if we didn't want to always convert into degrees Celsius, and if we wanted to give the user the option to maybe switch between degrees Fahrenheit and Celsius? Well, that's where we'd want to use a case structure. If we go to the block diagram, I can right-click, and through the structures palette, you can see I'll find the case structure, uh, structure here. I can click on this and drag and select the code that I want to selectively execute. And when I do that, you can see it drops down, by default, this true-false graphical structure. You can see by default, the original code is in the, case, is in the true case. And if I go to the next case, you can see just a blank set of code is in the false case. Let's go ahead and wire the temperature directly through from the slider control right to the thermometer in the false case. A case structure uses this case selector input in order to determine which piece of graphical code to execute. So I can drag this down. And let's say I wanted to create a button or a toggle switch in order for the user to be able to selectively choose between degrees Fahrenheit and degrees Celsius. I can right click on the block diagram now. I can go to buttons and I can choose to select a toggle switch. I'll drop this down, make this a little bit bigger. And now all I need to do is on the block diagram wire that same Boolean terminal over to the switch statement or to the case structure. If I hit run, now by default it's false. And as I move this slider up and down, you can see the same two values appearing on both the slider and the thermometer. If I want to then convert that and display something in degrees Celsius, I can click true. And now you can see I've got the corresponding degree Celsius value appear instead. So I've effectively implemented a true-false statement with my case structure. Now I can also use the same structure to, to do more than just true-false statements. I can, I can pick a numeric in order to select which additional pieces of code to execute. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to delete the Boolean switch. And let's just drop down a basic numeric control and use now the numeric control to control the selector instead. I'm then going to right click on the border of the case structure and say add case after. So this will now give me more than just two cases. In this case, I've got three different cases. And I'm just going to right click and create a constant value for this third case. Let's type in 78 degrees, for example. And let's say any time the number two is being passed into the case selector, then I'm going to see a, a constant 78 degrees in the thermometer instead. Well, now when I hit run, you can see the zero case just displays the exact value between the two things. I can scroll up and down, and I see between the slider and the thermometer, I'm seeing things in degrees Fahrenheit. If I switch the numeric to from zero to one, well, now I've got the degrees Celsius case, and I can, again, move the slider up and down, and I see my corresponding value in degrees C. And lastly, if I switch the numeric to the, the case number two, the third case, then I can see that I have a constant 78 degrees. And no matter what value I have on the slider, I'm always going to see 78 degrees on my thermometer. So that should give you an idea of how case structures work in LabVIEW.